Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Ranger 363 V Restoration. This is part 27 of the series. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys a cheap, inexpensive product that you could use to seal your joke. Okay, guys, so when I did the heavy duty cutting compound on this boat and buffed it all out uh, one of the comments I got so much was why didn't you wet sand it why didn't you wet sand it so we're gonna go over that one more time if I wet sand this it will not do anything okay it is not the gel coat that has changed colors it is the actual metal flake okay you see that that metal flake is gold this metal flake is pink so no matter what I do, I cannot get this back to this. The other thing I got a lot of was, was well, after you just did that, the minute you put it back out in the sun, it's gonna do the same thing. Well, luckily, I know people in places that do this a lot, and they gave me a product that's gonna stop that from happening. So boom, this is Tech USA MS51, professional grade gel coat sealer. So what this does is you put this on in multiple layers. I think overall you put about six layers of this stuff on. And it builds up protection so that it will not fade in the sun later on. It specifically says do not use below the waterline and do not use on new boats. So this is meant for boats that have been sitting out in the sun for a really long time that need that little extra layer of protection because the gel coat is so broken down. So... I know that I said that the gel coat is not the reason why I changed color, but the gel coat still needs some help. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this on. This stuff's pretty simple to use. Um, we're, I'm going to go over it with just like a damp rag, kind of wipe everything up. Then you put you apply a coat on this. You let it dry for 10 minutes. You can put another coat. Then you put another coat. And then you let that dry for 24 hours. And then you can put another coat on it. So a lot of coats of this. Uh, I already kind of did a test spot over here and then I buffed it out. So, yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and get the gl our glove on. Like I said, this stuff uh, make your hands all dried out and crackly. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your product and you're going to saturate your pad. Okay? Stuff squirts out. Just going to get a nice amount on it. Alright. What I like to do is I kind of like to fold the pad over and squeeze it and let, let it all kind of get worn in. So next, what you're going to do is when you apply this, you're not going to apply it flat like this. You're going to actually turn the pad up about 20 degrees. And you do not have to do swirl marks. All you have to do is you, just, you can just go back and forth like this. Okay? I've done swirls before. And uh, what it ends up doing it is you can actually see the swirl mark. So all you're doing is you're just applying this on. And you're just trying to cover as much area as you can. Alright? And you know that you're getting a good coat is when you look down it and you see that there's an equal amount. All right, so we just went through and made a list of all the things that we have left to do. And we kind of broke it up by section. And then we went through and kind of marked what we have to do uh, first so that we get things done. So in the right order and worked as efficiently as possible. So we're going to work on sealing the boat. I've already sealed uh, the front part of the boat 
and then after that we can start knocking off a lot of things on this list like installing the rub rail installing trim pieces the console all that um, it's easier to put the sealant on now instead of after we have all those trim pieces on because then we would have to work around them so we're going to do that first and then and start installing all that other stuff we need to get carpet ordered and start getting all that ready and it's just going to be nicks and nacks of little things trying to get it done what do you think it's a good idea i think it's good to make a list we have a lot we've done a lot of work but we have a lot of you know a lot of loose ends that we need to get tied up and then when you make a list like this you go wow we've got a lot of loose ends but i think the other thing is to like michael said is putting it in order so that uh you know we don't end up going back and doing it twice. Uh, so this this is our goal here right now. And uh, I think it's a good goal and then we'll take it from there. Yep. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get the bow. We need to wipe it down because there's a bunch of fiberglass and stuff all over it. That's my fault. And then we'll keep, <laughs> we'll keep sealing it. We got the back half of the bow pretty much left to do and all the inside and uh, yeah, with two people here, we should be able to knock it out pretty quick. Well, that's it for this week, guys. Uh, again, you know, sorry uh, that the video wasn't very long, but just been busy here at the shop and parts but now that we got this all situated uh it's sealed up it's a little rough um but i think it'll be fine before we sell it we'll get all polished up and now it's just it's gonna start to look more like a boat so we got the boat sealed so we're just gonna start at the front of the boat and work our way back excuse my childish handwriting uh but you know we'll get the rub rail on probably the first thing we're gonna do then we're gonna focus up here. We're gonna get the lights and everything. And the trolling motor, trolling motor, everybody. Oh, put an Ultrax, put a Fortrax, well, whatever. Um, well, if you can find one, you can mail it to me. Uh, that'd be great. But it's almost impossible to find a trolling motor right now. So we're just gonna stick the other one on. And if the person who wants to buy it wants to get another trolling motor, you know, I'll sell it to them at cost, cut them a deal, whatever it is. Uh, we can do that. But yeah, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna get this panel situated. We're gonna get this all installed. Carpet is coming, we got it ordered. So that's gonna be really awesome. And we're gonna put the, the handrails, the cleats, uh, put the console bag, the windshields. Then the last thing we're probably gonna do after we get all the carpet and everything in, we're gonna get all everything cleaned up is we're gonna go get the seats redone. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna take it over to a place here in Houston, just down the street that does a really good job from what I've heard, never used them. So yeah, that's it for this week, guys. If you guys liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, if, if you got any comments, please be sure to leave them down below and check us out at mealymarine.com for all your marine needs, guys. I, I'm talking, if you need something for your trailer, if you need something for your boat, if you need something for your pontoon boat, you need something for your motor, we have it all. It's over 40,000 products on my website. And if we don't have it, shoot me an email and I'll get it for you. So until next week, guys.